Hello everyone. Welcome back once again in your biology class. This is Nasin and you are watching educational support. If you like this video then press a subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it. So please watching till the end of my video. Do you have some minutes? Today I going to teach something important topic to you that is human respiratory system. mainly upper respiratory system in this session i like to discuss to you what does the respiratory tract starts with what is the respiratory tract and what does the upper respiratory tract consist of so be with me till the end and let's get begin so do you know what is the respiratory system or what is the definition of the respiratory system the respiratory system or ventilatory system is a biological system consisting of specific organs and structures used for gas exchange in animals and plants so here i am presenting part of the respiratory system in humans and other mammals the anatomy of a typical respiratory system is the respiratory tract the tract is divided into an upper and lower respiratory tract so the upper respiratory system consists of the nose nasal cavities sinuses mouth pharynx and the part of the above larynx of the vocal folds so do you know what are the important respiratory system parts in human the important respiratory human system parts include nose pharynx larynx trachea bronchi lung so here i am presenting what is the respiratory tract made up of the respiratory tract is made up of nostrils nasal chamber larynx pharynx epiglottis and trachea lung bronchi and bronchioles so first is nose do you know what is the nose the human nose is the most protruding part of the face the inner part of the nose is the above the roof of the mouth so the nose is made up of external meter which are triangle shaped projection in the center of the face external nostrils that are bear nostrils and the first organ of the respiratory system and it is also the principal organ in the olfactory system so next is septum so septum is made up of mainly cartilage and bone and covered by mucous membrane the shape of the nose is determined by the nasal bone and the nasal cartilages include
including the nasal septum which separates the nostrils and divides the nasal cavity into two on average the nose of a male is larger than that of a female so nasal passages are that are lined with mucous membrane and tiny hairs that means cilia that help to filter the air and then is sinuses so do you know what are the sinuses the sinuses are cavities or air filled pockets as in the nasal passages the sinuses are lined up with mucous membrane so we would if you enjoy this video or learn anything then press a like button and don't forget to subscribe so here i am showing different types of sinuses there are four different type of sinuses that are it's moist sinuses maxillary sinuses frontal sinuses and the last one is sinoid sinuses so it's moist sinuses are located inside the face around the area of the bridge of the nose and it is present at birth and continues to grow next is maxillary sinus So maxillary sinuses is located inside the face around the area of the cheek and it is also present at birth and continues to grow. Number 3 is frontal sinuses. So frontal sinuses is located inside the face in the area of the forehead. It does not develop until around 7 years of age. and the number 4 is sinoid sinuses so sinoid sinuses is located in the face behind the nose it does not typically develop until the 10 years so next is anatomy of the nasal cavity so the nasal cavity extends from the external opening the nostril to the pharynx that means the upper section of the throat so where it joins the remainder of the respiratory system and it is separated down the middle by the nasal septum so nasal septum is a piece of cartilage which separates and separates and shapes the nostril so each nostril can be further divided into roof floor and wall so the nasal cavity can be divided into vestibule respiratory and the olfactory sections so here is nasal vestibule so nasal vestibule is the dilated area at the nostril opening next is respiratory section so the respiratory section or respiratory region of the nasal cavity refers to the passages through which air travels into the respiratory system and the respiratory section of the each nostril contains four conchi which are also referred to as turbinate bones or lobes and these lobes and bones are covered by the nasal mucosa so underlying this conchi are meatuses that means passages to interior body structure and this meatuses of the nasal cavity connect to the paranasal sinuses so olfactory region or olfactory receptors receptors for smell 
sensation are found in this of uh, section of the nasal cavity so bowman's glands are also found in this section of the nasal cavity do you have any idea what is paranasal sinuses the paranasal sinuses or the nasal sinuses is surrounded by a ring of paranasal sinuses and the meters in the nasal cavity connect to this structure so the sinuses develop as outgrowths of and drain into the nasal cavity the mucosa of the sinuses connect to the nasal mucosa four paired nasal paranasal sinuses are the frontal sinuses ethmo sinuses maxillary sinuses and the sphenoid sinuses drain into the regions of the nasal cavity the sinuses are air filled extension of the nasal cavity into the cranial bone so the frontal sinuses are located in the frontal bone the Phenoid sinuses are located in the maxillary sinus phenoid bone and the maxillary sinuses in the maxilla and the ethmoid sinuses located in the ethmoid bone So next I am presenting function of paranasal sinuses The paranasal sinuses function to resonate speech and produce mucus which enters the nasal passages other functions of the sinuses are not well understood here i am presenting naso lacrimal ducts so naso lacrimal ducts are the ducts which connect the lacrimal that means tear duct in the eye to the nasal cavity so functions of nasal lacrimal duct are drain to tears from the lacrimal that means tear duct of the eyes to the nasal mucosa so here is oral cavity the nasal cavity is separated from the oral cavity interior of the mouth by the hard palate next point is mouth mouth or ear can also enter through your oral cavity that means mouth especially if you have a mouth breathing habit or your nasal passages may be temporarily blocked next is pharynx or throat so do you know what is throat or pharynx the throat or pharynx is a ring like muscular tube it is a passage way for air food and liquid and it also helps in forming speech the throat is made up of voice box larynx that means larynx epiglottis tonsils and adenoid so voice box or larynx the larynx or voice box contains your vocal cords when moving air it breathes in and out it creates vocal cords or voice sounds the vocal cords are the upper opening into the wine pipe that means trachea and the passageway to the lung next is epiglottis 
so epiglottis is a flap of tissue that guards the entrance to your trachea the epiglottis folds down over the vocal cord to prevent food and irritants from entering the lung next point is tonsils so tonsils are limb node in the wall of the pharynx the tonsils are not an important part of the germ fighting system of the body if they become infected they are sometimes removed and next is adenoid so when your adenoids interfere with your breathing they are sometimes removed the limb system consisting of nodes that means nodes of cells and connecting vessels and carries fluid throughout the body so this system helps your body resist infection by filtering out foreign matter and including germs and producing cells that means lymphocyte cells to the germ fight them so all right that's going to do it for our first respiratory system in human in my next video i will go in sharing about lower respiratory system if you like this video please hit the like button If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment. To know more about the biology topic, then keep visiting educational subscription. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.